I've been doing competitive dance since I was really young and I always felt super insecure about my thighs. As a competitive dancer, there's a lot of pressures around weight and I have battled with eating disorders in the past and even at my thinnest, my thighs still touch. But the biggest problem came probably when I was about 15 and I just couldn't even wear regular summer clothing without getting serious rashes, walking around, hanging out with friends, doing anything. To try and combat the chafing in the past, sometimes I would put things like deodorant or baby powder, but they really didn't work. Between losing weight and gaining weight, it was always still there. It really became a problem that was just out of my control. I'm Julia and I'm here today for the J-Plastic procedure to get the fat from the middle of my thighs removed. This is not the first procedure I've had. Uh, I have had a procedure before called Sculpture that was trying to do the same thing but definitely was not as effective so I'm hoping this will be a second try and we'll have better outcomes. The reason I got the sculpture in the first place was because when I walk, wearing shorts or a skirt, anything where my thighs are touching, I get really bad rashes. So I was hoping that with the sculpture procedure, the fat would go away and I wouldn't have that chafing, but to this day, I'm definitely still having it. Even at my thinnest, my thighs still touch, so I think it's just down to anatomy and I would never encourage anyone to try and control something like this with purely diet because for some people that just doesn't work and I can testify to that myself. I'm Dr. Jack Zamora from Denver, Colorado and creator of J-Plasty, the subdermal J-plasma treatment for skin tightening. J-Plasty is a treatment that we can do in the office using plasma energy to tighten that loose skin that has come about from losing a lot of weight or pregnancy or just aging. Uh, a simple in-office treatment that is able to uh, tighten the skin like we've never seen before. We create plasma by taking a gas and energizing it, in this case with radio frequency, to create what looks like a, a lightsaber form of energy. Today we're doing Julia, Julia's middle thighs or medial thighs, uh, primarily because Julia's gone through a 50 pound weight loss. With J Plasty, we're able to have Julia come in, uh, have just a little bit of liposuction if she needs it, uh, but more importantly, tighten all of that tissue that has loosened from that significant weight change. It's important to stand true to who you are and not let social media shape you. So every procedure I've ever had done has been a withstanding issue for at least five years. And I always think it's important to check in with yourself and ask yourself why you're doing these things. Oh, hello, Julia, how are you? Hi, nice to see you. Are you ready for today? I am, are you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so today we're doing the j plastic treatment, which is a nice uh, way of tightening the skin that we have uh, lost uh, the tightness to. Uh, and I think yours from, was from a little bit of weight loss. Sure. One of the main complaints that she has is chafing of the skin as it rubs from both the volume and the looseness. She's in phenomenal shape right now, but unfortunately, all of the exercise in the world, all of the diet in the world is not going to tighten skin. And so this is a very nice and easy treatment that we can do for patients who have gone to that great effort of helping themselves to stay young, hit, healthy, and fit. And this is the way that we can deliver that last part, that smoother, tighter skin. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right. So Julia, like the majority of our patients, is going to come into the office. She can eat today. Uh, she'll have some local anesthesia, a little bit of numbing placed underneath the skin. One, two, three, stick. Ow! We'll do a touch of liposuction on her, uh, but a significant amount of plasma energy treatment for the J-Plasty procedure after which she'll have a little bit of residual swelling that'll go away over the next few days. But really, she'll be ready to go back to work uh, tomorrow and she'll be able to exercise as soon as she feels ready.
So here we've done a little bit of liposuction on both medial thighs, just a touch to remove a little bit of the excess fat. But more importantly, you can see the difference in the volume or the size of the area where we've done the plasma treatment compared to the area where we haven't done the plasma treatment. Oftentimes, the skin is loose because it's not firmly attached to the underlying muscle. But in this side over here, you can see how the skin is much tighter and, and won't allow it to be moved uh, like the side that hasn't been done yet. So over the next six weeks, uh, she'll have an improvement in the amount of swelling that she's experiencing and the skin will get more and more firm. As long as she wears the garments and has a continued uh, healthy diet and occasional exercise, she'll do great. You're all done, kiddo. Thank you. I'm feeling good. I'm not feeling any pain at the moment. I would say that the most painful part of the procedure was the initial anesthetizing of the area, but once everything was numb, I didn't feel any pain. <laughs> I've got Spanx on right now that are acting as compression garments to keep everything as tight as possible because there's a lot of swelling jumping on a plane tonight and going to class tomorrow morning. I'm definitely excited about being able to go out dancing because again, when most girls in the salsa club are wearing really huge short dresses, I show up with a crop top and jeans. So I'm excited to be able to wear a dress and um, move with no limits. Hi everyone, I'm here at Dr. Zamora's office for my second post-op appointment and everything's looking really good. Bruising is still there and definitely visible and there's a lot of swelling, but he said that about 50% of what we're seeing is swelling, so based upon the results, I'm looking and feeling really excited. So you can see my incisions are really small and along the line of my natural crease, so as soon as they heal, they really won't be noticeable. And then you can see that he stopped about here, so the majority of the swelling is in this area, but once that goes down, we should be good, so feeling good. It's been three months since my surgery and I'm feeling great. It's summer and this is the first summer I would ever put on a skirt or shorts and not have to worry about chafing between my thighs, so I'm really excited about that. It took about a month for me to return to my normal activities. Getting back into my routine helped me heal a little bit more. The most significant difference, I think, is just being able to wear clothes and not have to think about anything. If we're walking around for too long, I'm going to chafe or I'm going to have a rash the next day, but now I can put on whatever I want, be it a dress or shorts, and not have to worry about it, which is just so nice. I walked home for the first time and almost cried because I had never felt my legs not touch and I just thought it was something I was going to have to live for with the rest of my life. So having that relief was amazing just three weeks after. So. Any advice I would give to people who are considering this is just definitely explore all of your options. For me, this was a problem I was living with for several years and I really thought I was just gonna live with it for the rest of my life. Um, if this is something you can accomplish through working out or weight loss and you're a little scared of surgery, try that first. But if you think that this is gonna be your only option, go for it. We know it's successful, you're gonna have great results and it's such a minimally painful experience that I really encourage anyone to try it. At this point, I'm feeling confident, happy, and just unstoppable.